Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Devin the Dream Haney, the undefeated, two-division world champion, former undisputed lightweight champion, current WBC super lightweight champion, one of the hottest young stars. We have King Ryan Garcia, one of the hottest young stars in the sport of boxing. He's a top contender at um, the super lightweight division and up. Then we have that killer day gorilla from Baltimore, Javante Tank Davis, the undefeated three-division world champion, the current Super WBA lightweight champion, you know, arguably the face of boxing outside of Canelo Alvarez, the hottest young star in the game, 29 going on 30, um, you know, and he's, he's, he's making his case to be the face of boxing, whether people like it or not, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia stood up on the ring where Tank finished Frank the Ghost Mart. And they was talking about the rematch. Ryan said he want the rematch. Javante Tank Davis went into that post-fight conference and he said, yeah, no, I kick his ass again. Because Javante Davis understand the power of a dollar. He understand that Ryan Garcia and him sold one point, or should I say a million plus pay-per-views. And that he will do another big time pay-per-view if he was to rematch Ryan Garcia. And Javante Tank Davis is about his money, whether you like it or not. And I'm not knocking it. You understand? So Tank is up for the rematch. Even with Ryan saying what he said, that everybody, you know, falling into that trick bag of Ryan Garcia, talking about he hate black people and, you know, he want to join the KKK and, you know, F all Muslims and, 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 and you know, N words and, like, I tell people, man, we see Ryan Garcia drinking. We see him partying, smoking, and um, he's on a mission to stir up so much shit to keep his name relevant and have people looking at him from, from you know, every little aspect of what's going on with him. And people are falling into that trick bag, like I said in my live stream. But Ryan Garcia is not a racist. I'm going to stand on what I say. Ryan Garcia don't want to join no goddamn KKK. I'm going to stand on what I say. And Ryan Garcia is only doing what he's doing because he wants the attention from the people because he's working this social media shit. Ever since Ryan beat Devin the Dream Haney in that fight, ever since he beat him and beat him bad, it's been a back and forth thing going on. If he cheated, did he not cheat? We know he had the Osterine in the system. He popped dirty for Osterine. And, um, you know, Ryan has been on his mission of he's been sabotaged by Devin Haney and his crew. But the fact of the matter is this, bro. Devin Haney, it's like we all watched the fight and we all saw what happened. You understand? But Devin Haney is not the first person to share a ring with somebody who popped dirty for something. Like, let's be realistic out here, bro. Let's be realistic. So Ryan Garcia get a suspension. He get, you know, his punishment. And um, everybody looking at it as if Devin should get a way better treatment than the other people who got, you know, done wrong inside that square circle. Now, when it comes to Javante Tank Davis, who's running the game right now, like I say, the, the hottest young man in the game right now, and all these dudes want to be in this position. Ryan Garcia is in a special position because, you know, he made his name popular outside of boxing. So, with Tank being as big as he is, and Ryan being right there with him, even though Tank is bigger, um, a lot of people hate on that, man. They hate on it. And I see Devin, he don't want to see that Tank and Ryan rematch because he knows it's going to overshadow him. But Javante Davis looking at that rematch as if I know I can whoop Ryan Garcia's ass again and I know I'm going to pick up a big bag. So with Ryan Garcia saying what he's saying about he hate niggers and this, that, and the third, that just make for headlines. And not just that. They give Javante Tank Davis something to say, you know what, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to kick his ass for saying this stupid shit. You know what I mean? For saying he hate N-words and all Muslims, because I'm a Muslim now. 
So now me and him get in that ring. And I got a storyline outside of just the rematch, outside of just the rehydration clause that a lot of people are talking about. I have something that we can sell this fight off of and make it even bigger. Make it even bigger. Do you understand what I'm saying? So with everybody saying, Ryan Garcia need to be suspended for the rest of his life, banned for boxing, get this taken from him, get that taken from him. Get out y'all goddamn feelings, man. Get out y'all feelings. Y'all know what this dude doing. Yes, he should be punished for saying that stupid shit and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, this is boxing, man. This is a brutal sport. Brutal. Mentally, physically, emotionally. It's a brutal sport. You feel me? Verbal abuse goes on every day, all day. Every day, all day. But y'all, I like y'all never heard this shit before or seen this shit before. Then I heard people saying it don't affect them. They don't care. But the way they react, it, 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 it you know, it shows me something different. Because everybody falling for the fucking trick bag. The more all you motherfuckers talk about Ryan Garcia, y'all give him exactly what he want. Exactly what he want. You did? So, you know, it's rumors that Ryan Garcia has been taken to rehab and he's going to, you know, get help and this, that, and the third. We heard all that shit before. We heard it all before. Like I said, when they your suspension up, we will see Ryan Garcia back in the ring. I don't give a damn with no sanction to body talking about. On the simple fact that they know that young man generates. He generates. And they like money. No, they love money. No, they cherish money. So when he come back and he can put some money in their goddamn pockets, they go find a way to forgive him. So miss me with the bullshit. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, boxing is a business. Javante Tank Davis... As long as he stay undefeated in this past year before Ryan Garcia get back, right? Well, after Ryan Garcia get back, sorry. As long as he stay undefeated, him and Ryan will lace him up again. Mark my words when I tell y'all that. As long as Tank stay undefeated on this run, him and Ryan Garcia will lace him up again. And you will see every sanctioning body with a motherfucking hand in a cookie jar. But Javante Tank Davis will go out there and smoke Ryan Garcia for the words that he said and uh, give everybody some closure or get them, you know, some type of happiness from seeing Ryan Garcia get his ass beat and taking this punishment for saying the stupid shit that he was saying. And you go see Ryan Garcia apologize after that ass whooping and you'll see that Ryan Garcia is not a racist. And I stand on that and I stamp that. Ryan, get your little help. See you in a year. Tank, keep doing your thing and uh, serve Ryan ass up in a rematch. Straight like that and money be on to the next.